Hello everyone. Welcome to Smart Interviews. In this video, we are going to solve one more problem on trees from Neat Code. You can find the link to this problem in the description. Go ahead, click on the link so that we can solve the problem together. Also, I recommend you to pause the video here and understand the problem statement, come up with the approach on your own. Okay, let's move forward and start with the problem statement. You are given a tree like this. Let's say this is the root of the tree and this tree is a full binary tree. Full binary tree is a binary tree in which each node has either 0 or 2 children and the nodes with 0 children are called as leaf nodes. Also, the nodes in the tree will have only values 0, 1, 2 and 3. Here, 0 means false, 1 is true, 2 is or, 3 is and. Leaf nodes will contain the values of 0 and 1 and rest of the nodes will have the values 2 and 3. Now what do you have to do is you will have to evaluate the entire value of this given tree. So the output will be either true or false. So now let's start evaluating this tree. We'll start with the root. Now if you look at the root, 3 is present. That means you will have to apply and operation on the result from the left side of the root and the right side of the root. Okay. Now if you look at this, on the left side we have left subtree. So to get the result of left subtree, first you will have to evaluate this left subtree. So let's start evaluating this. We are currently at the left subtree's root. Now, to evaluate the value at this root, we'll have to evaluate again the left subtree here and here, then perform the OR operation between these two values. Now if you go to the left here, it's a leaf node. A leaf node will directly have either false or true. At this node, it's a true, so we simply pass back true. Okay, now this node here has got true from the left. Let's go to the right. We have 3 here. Again, it has two children, 1 and 0. So let's go to the left. We have 1. So since 1 is true, we pass back true. 0 is false, we pass back false. Since 3 is and, true and false is going to be false. So for this tree, the result is false and we return back the result which is false. Now for the node 2, 2 is OR. From left side we are getting true, from right side we are getting false. True or false is true. So the result for the left subtree is true and we pass back true. In the same way we evaluated left subtree, we are going to evaluate the right subtree also. Here we get true, we can return false, we return true, true or false is going to be true, true and true is going to be true again. So at the root true and true is going to be true again. So the output is true for this binary tree. Okay, so this is how we evaluate. If we observe, what are we doing? We are starting with the root and first we are trying to evaluate the left subtree, then we are trying to evaluate the right subtree and then we are combining them with whatever the operation is given at the root. Okay, so this is the approach. 
Now let's go ahead and write the code for this. Okay, let's start with the code. What is the first step? First, we'll evaluate the left subtree and the right subtree. How do we do it? Left subtree is also a tree. Okay, so we can use the same evaluate tree function to evaluate the left subtrees and right subtrees. So I'll make a function call evaluate tree on the left subtree and store this result in a variable called left. Since it, it returns the boolean value, I'm saying boolean left. In the same way, boolean right is equal to evaluate tree of root of right. Okay. Now, we have the left subtrace value, we have the right subtrace value. Now, depending upon what operation we have at the root, we'll have to evaluate. So, if root of value is equal to 2, we'll apply the OR operation. So, left OR right. Otherwise, we'll apply the AND operation. Left and right. Okay. Is this it? No, right. We have to check if the current node is a leaf node. So how do you check? Leaf node has no children. That is left child and right child will be null. So if root of left is equal to null and root of right is equal to null. What do we do? We'll either have 0 or 1 at the relief node. So if root of value is equal to 0, we return false. Otherwise, we return true. That's it. Let's go ahead and submit. Accept it. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more such content.